Hey, I'm Kevin, and in this video, we're gonna be taking a look at the 18 liter double compartment bullet ruck from GORUCK. So this is the updated version with the AquaGuard zippers all the way around. Stick around because I'm gonna show you the inside of the bag, the outside of the bag. We'll talk what I like, what I don't like, and then we'll get into use case scenarios a bit. So I recently took this bag with me on, well, actually on my last work trip. So I was down in Georgia for 10 days. I got back, I went on a camping trip, got back, basically had a day to unload the camper, get everything stowed, um, kind of take care of a few things around the house. Didn't get to packing, so I had to pack the morning I was leaving. I had about two hours to throw 10 days worth of stuff in a bag. I wanted to take this bag with and try it out. I was concerned. Um, I didn't know if I was gonna get everything I needed in this, and unfortunately, I did have to check a bag for this last trip, so I did take the GR1, and then I threw this in my carry-on. When I got to Georgia, I used this back and forth to the plant every day, and then I did swap it out with the GR1 for the flight home, and this bag worked out perfect for me. I'm gonna show you how I got it loaded out, so I haven't taken any of my stuff out of it yet. From when I got home, this is how it was loaded, when I flew home with it. Before we get into this review, I just wanna start off by saying I did buy this bag with my own money. This review is not sponsored. Having said that, let's dive right in to materials and specs. This, the primary material, this is the 420D Robic Nylon throughout this bag, everywhere except for the back panel, which for the last year or two, they've been putting the uh, 210 High Tenacity Cordura on the back panels of their bag. So, Nice and smooth back panel behind the shoulder straps. That's the 210 material. The rest of this bag is the 420D Ripstop Robic. Really cool grid pattern to this material. So I just want to compare it to the Robic on the M23. And I mean, the pattern looks the same for sure. So I will say though, this feels slightly stiffer. And I, you know, I had this bag with me on a work trip last week and I thought it felt stiffer, but I didn't have this to compare to. And I will say this feels slightly stiffer. Maybe that's because I've used this bag a little bit more. However, definitely, definitely feels a little stiffer to me. Interesting. All right, so spec wise, this is the 18 liter model. It also comes in a 16 liter version. Uh, the 18 liter is 11 and three quarters wide by 18 and a half inches tall by seven inches deep. And then the 16 inch model is 10 and three quarters inch wide by 17 and a half inches high, but it's also seven inches deep. So same depth on both the bags. Uh, the 16 liter model is about an inch narrower and an inch shorter. So that is quite a bit smaller. I mean, it's two liter capacity difference and that's, you know, you got 18 liters versus 16 liters. Um, laptop compartment dimensions. This is 17 and a half inches high by 10 and a half inches wide. My work laptop is a 14 inch HP. Fits in there, no problem. Got a little bit of room to spare. Could probably fit a 15 inch in there. Uh, I did try putting a 17 inch laptop. There was a HP ZBook, 17 inch ZBook in the office I was using uh, at the last plant I visited. And that 17 inch was most certainly not going in here. So definitely too wide to get into that pocket. Uh, and then the laptop compartment on the 16 liter model is two inches shorter at 15 inches and it's the same width at 10 and a half inches wide. Let's move on to exterior features. This is a GORUCK bag. It has the typical GORUCK layout. Uh, we've got the front slant pocket. The difference on the bullets is there's no flap. You'll notice that we do have a PU coated AquaGuard zipper for that slant pocket and also all of the other zippers on the pack, including the laptop compartment. So all the exterior zippers on here are YKK AquaGuard zippers which is a very cool addition and upgrade for this bag. Really glad to see it. And I will say, even though these are AquaGuard zippers, they're much smoother than I expected them to be. I mean, feel very, very smooth for AquaGuard zippers. Love the zippers, love the upgrade. Uh, above the slant pocket, we've got the standard loop field on GORUCK bags where you can put a patch. Uh, we've got a little bit of branding down here uh, by way of a speed gray or a silver, spear point on the bottom of the bag. Pretty conspicuous with that color. Uh, it's, I mean, it's not bad. I it, I think it would be a lot cooler if that was blacked out. It would maintain the aesthetic of the bag better, I, I feel, but uh, it is broken up a little bit by that uh, silver spear point. Key difference on the dual compartment or the double compartment bullet ruck, you'll notice is that there are 
two main body access zippers, and that is because it is the double compartment. So much like the GR2, we've got a front compartment and then the main compartment. Above that, we've got the standard GORUCK handle, great grab handles on GORUCK bags. So we've got you know some nylon webbing with a little bit of padding underneath. The underside of this feels like that 210 HD, but I can't tell. It might be a little thicker. I'm not sure what that material is, but you know, GORUCK grab handles are always fantastic. Very nicely padded, very good feel in your hand. Great way to grab the bag and very convenient, obviously on top there. Uh, aside from that, you know, something to note before we get too far down the road on this is that it's slick. There's no PALS webbing, no molly on the front of this bag. And I think they've been, that's pretty standard across the Robic offerings. I don't think the Robic platform supports the molly. Maybe I'm wrong about that, but uh, definitely not wrong about the fact that there's no PALS webbing on here. Moving on to the back, we've got standard GORUCK straps to some extent. These are a bit narrower for the bullet ruck than the standard, but they got a good curve to them. Great padding. As usual, as I'm accustomed to with GORUCK bags, these are very comfortable straps. And although we don't have the PALS webbing on the front, we do have it down the straps, which is very important to me. I mean, without that, it's almost a no-go, especially with the 210 HT on the back of these straps. I do like to use a sternum strap, even with the bullet rucks, because this is a little slick. Uh, back panel wise, Pretty standard configuration for GORUX back panels uh, with the addition on this pack of the lumbar support pad. You know, I really like having that lumbar pad there. I think I've seen people complain about it and they don't necessarily like it. To me, it feels right. I like the way that pad feels in the small of my back. It also serves to provide a little bit of standoff in my opinion. So you get a little bit of an air gap, especially at the base there, you know, the small of my back, if I'm moving a lot, that's, that's it. I mean, depending on the temperature, you know, and uh, that can become a sweaty area. So it's a good thing to me to have this lumbar pad provides a little bit of standoff. You get a little bit better airflow on your back, in my opinion. And I just, I'm, I'm used to the way that feels from my rucker and I like having that pad in my back. That's really it for the extra. Oh, you know what? Almost forgot. There's one more key thing to mention, and that is, these do have a quick access pocket on the top. Very nice, very handy. Love the addition of the quick access pocket to anything GORUCK offers. Uh, also covered by an AquaGuard YKK zipper. So again, YKK zippers all the way around, including on the laptop compartment. And that's really about it for the exterior of this bag. Nothing on the bottom, uh, just the, the 420D Robic material. I think it would be nice to I'm not too concerned about it, but it'd be nice to see something like ballistic nylon on the bottom, something that's gonna provide even more abrasion resistance if you're putting this bag down on the ground a lot. So that's it for the exterior. I'm gonna go ahead and throw this on before we get to the interior because I'm gonna be taking stuff out of it when we do that. And this way you'll get to see what it looks like fully loaded out on my five foot 11, 220 to 225 ish pound frame. All right, let's try this on. All right, now, for a small bag, and I'm always concerned that the smaller bags in general, and the bullet rucks, for instance, they, I feel like they look a little small in my frame. I don't necessarily feel that way with this one. I think it's a good fit. It feels comfortable. It sits a couple inches above my belt line, probably like four inches at least, maybe three inches. Really great position for it. It, it wears well. Uh, it feels good. Uh, even fully loaded out, this is a very comfortable pack, as I would expect because most go rug bags, if not all go rug bags I own, are extremely comfortable. So that's what it looks like. Again, I'm about 5'11", 225. All right, let's move on to the interior. And we're gonna start with the front slant pocket. Inside the front slant pocket, I've got my right in the rain notebook set up. So I've got a notebook in here, uh, actually one of their hardcover notebooks. I actually have my field notes in there too, because I was walking around with those in my pocket, stuck them in there but I've got some pens, pencil, grease pen, and then my right in the rain notebook. Uh, like this setup, cause it's nice and compact. Although it does provide a little bit more room to write than just a field note. So uh, good setup there. That's all I have in this pocket. You'll notice the interior is a rip stop, uh, speed gray color or gray. You've got the, the rip stop um, block pattern in there or the grid pattern. So. 
pretty cool on the interior of that. Inside the front pocket, we've got the standard solid pocket with the top zip, underneath which we have a mesh pocket with the top zip. On this side, we've got the mesh pocket with the side zip, and then the built-in field pocket, which is partially open. Uh, back to this side, we've got the bullet ruck tag on there. This is the GORUCK 18 liter bullet ruck, lifetime guaranteed. Does not say made in the USA because this bag is in fact made in Vietnam. No issues quality wise with any of the stuff I have, any of the made in Vietnam gear from GORUCK, the quality is definitely there. Up on top of this pocket, I was typically using this for, I've got an Apple watch band in there and I've got some mints right now. I was putting my rental car keys in there so they're nice and secure, not gonna fall out of the bag uh, when I was at the plant. And then below that is kind of my tech pocket. So I've got uh, a pebble mouse for my laptop. I've got my laptop power brick in there. And then I've got uh, two cables is a USB-C to C. And then this is, so this is what I've been using for travel lately. It's a little bulky, but I've been bringing this anchor charging stand with me, which is a three in one charger. You've got the watch. AirPods right here, and then phone right there. And then this is the cable for it. This works out perfect. I do think it's worth a little bit of extra bulk just for the convenience it provides. And works fantastic, love that charger. Uh, on this side, I've got nothing in this pocket, although at the plant that was typically my snack pocket. And you've got the semi-quick access. If you, you know open from the side, and then you can open this side zip, kind of stick your hand in there and grab what you need out. Um, then above that in the field pocket, I've got my sunglasses. I did bring my gaiters with, love these sunglasses. And then I do have uh, another tin of mints in there and then this hyphen X. So this is a dual USB-C 67 watt charger, I believe, GAN 67 watt ultra slim charger. This is a really cool charger and I'd bring that back and forth to the plant in case uh, I didn't have access to a charging brick or there wasn't something, you know, if I got to charge the phone or something, it's good, it's handy to have that on me. And uh, that's all I have in that pocket. Moving on to the main pocket. And it's important to note, and I think, you know, go ruck bags in general typically offer full clamshell open uh, some of the exceptions would be the M22 or the M23, uh, which are top loaders, but this does have full clamshell open for both compartments. This compartment is set up with a side zip mesh pocket here. We've got some stretchy mesh, very nice stretchy mesh material. I don't have anything in there, but that's a good place to stuff a sweatshirt or you know a sweater, something heavier, a shirt. Um, good place to stuff that. And then on this side, I've got and this loads out pretty perfect. Probably a little bit of spare room. I might be able to get like, let me see if I get a water bottle in there. Probably not this one. No, that's not gonna work. But I was carrying around, you know, the plant, they've, also, they've always got the smaller water bottle, so I'd have a water bottle in there. But anyway, I've got a, this is the X-Cat, X-Pack Cap 2. This has some uh, recording equipment and some uh, miscellaneous tech stuff in it. This, We've got a small shadow pocket, and this is my, my PPE setup. So I've got my gloves, safety glasses, and vest all stuffed into this little, you gotta kind of stuff it a little bit, but I love this setup. It's perfect because I got most of the PPE I need outside of my bump cap and obviously my steel toe boots uh, right in this handy uh, small shadow pocket. And then it, this just lives in my travel bag because this is my travel stuff. And then this, this is really cool. Very excited about this. This is a samurai sling from Packalab. I got this right before I left for the trip and uh, I've got the sling strap in there. This is uh, ultra 800 black magic material on the exterior. I've got a red uh, honeycomb ripstop nylon interior. I'll just pop that open for a second so you can see that interior. And it is gorgeous. This is a custom made sling from Paco Lab. I will at some point do a full review on this. I didn't get too much of a chance to use it. So, you know, I've got the sling strap in there. It doubled as a tech organizer um, 
had some, you know, the stuff I would say right now it's got the essentials, stuff I want access to when I'm on the plane. So when I got on the plane, this went in the overhead, this came with me and it fit perfectly in the mesh seat back on this particular plane. Perfect as an organizer slash sling for this trip. And uh, can't wait to get into this and do a full review on this at some point. So really cool setup. And that's it. That's the, that's all I had in the interior. Uh, on the back side of the interior, we've got a slip pocket, uh, drop-in pocket. So this does not have it. There's no elasticity. There's no elastic band on here. Uh, I did try to fit my ultimate EDC organizer from Garage Built Gear in there. And with it loaded out, it did not want to go in. Uh, I haven't tried, but I believe that will accept a ruck plate. I haven't tried to put one in there, but I don't see... I think it would go in there. All right, this is a, I had to try it out. So this is an Amazon special 45 pound ruck plate, a little on the thick side. This is definitely not going in there. So too wide, too thick, and uh, not gonna work in the bullet ruck. So this is a much smaller, also Amazon special ruck plate. 10 pounds, that'll go in there no problem. So if you have a thinner ruck plate and probably some of the thinner ones from GoRuck, I think you'll get them in there no problem. The cheaper Amazon special versions, not gonna fit in there. The interior main compartment, I do have the main Vietnam tag down here. You've got the gray grid patterned ripstop nylon on there. And then this is the inside of the quick access pocket which kind of eats a little bit into your space for the main compartment. And uh, again, that's it for the inside. So inside the, the quick access pocket, I've got my wallet in there right now and I was stashing that in there at the plant or when I'm going through security at the airport. And that's really all I have in there. All right, let's move on to what I like and what I don't like about this bag. So starting with what I like, I love the addition of the AquaGuard zippers. Just gives you that much more peace of mind that you're not gonna get any moisture into the bag. They're also very smooth, great zippers. Love the fact that they put those on there. Uh, number two, I really like the quick access pocket. So that to me is almost a must have for traveling. You know, you get a little bit of that with a slant pocket in a typical bag, but that quick access pocket is so handy. You know, when I get to security, the first thing I'm doing is dumping my wallet and dumping my phone, right? So I've got my ID in my pocket and that's it. And that's going right in there. So I'm sticking it in there when I put it up on the, the table, roll it through the, the scanner. And then when I get out the other side, I just grab my wallet, phone, and uh, I'm off to the, to the gate. I really like the size. So the 18 liters on this and 16 liters would probably work for me as well. I think it'd fit the laptop I have. It's just a great size for back and forth to the plant every day for daily carry. And you've got the extra organization that comes with the two compartment bullet ruck setup, much like the GR2, but in a much EDC or daily carry friendlier package, right? With the 18 liters and it's just about the perfect size. And then lastly, the last thing I really wanna mention is the, the dual compartment part to this. So I think what really makes this usable for me for EDC, for office carry, for plant carry, is that dual compartment setup. You've got two compartments to organize your gear in and semi quick access to all of them, right? So you can unzip from the side to get to the side access zips. Both of these compartments, those, those main mesh zips are side zips so you can get to them from the side. You've got semi quick access to the field pocket and the top pocket in this main, you know, if you just, if you had the zipper situated so that, you know, one was here and one was here, you can partially zip. You got semi quick access to both of these. Really like that layout and the thought and the design that went into uh, how those pockets are accessible and how you get into them. So what don't I like about this bag? And there's really nothing not to like. So the only thing I would point out, and it's a minor, um, it's, a, it's a minor gripe to me is that silver spear. Again, I think that would have been a lot nicer if that's blacked out. Definitely help maintain the overall aesthetic of the bag. Very minor complaint. Uh, you know, I, there is nothing that would prevent me 
from spending money on this bag, knowing what I know about it now. So money well spent, I would definitely buy this bag again. Love the 18 liter double compartment bullet rock. Great design, great form factor, great EDC bag. Let's talk use case scenarios for a minute. And you know, I've already mentioned great size for EDC. Uh, also work well with my setup. So, you know, if you are going on a trip and you have to do a check bag for whatever reason, uh, this makes a great personal item or carry on item for the plane. Perfect size. It's you know, had everything I need in there in conjunction with my check bag. So that got checked, went in the belly of the plane. This came with me. Very nice, manageable size uh, on the airplane. You can obviously fit down the aisleways nicely when you're turning, you're not, you know, hitting people in the face with your backpack if you still got it on your back. If you're carrying it in front of you, um, very slim, very manageable, very nice size to it. So to me, it makes a great travel bag in conjunction with a, a check bag setup. One bag travel, probably not gonna do it for me in this bag, especially on a work trip, maybe a personal trip. Definitely not a work trip because there's just too much stuff I gotta bring. And then there's, you know, the, the everyday carry ability of this bag. So this bag really lends itself, in my opinion, to everyday carry, office carry. You can separate your tech from your other gear. You've got some organization built in. Great use case for this. So what do you think of the 18 liter double compartment bullet ruck from Go Ruck? Do you have this bag? Do you want it? Tell me your thoughts. Drop me a comment below. I'd love to hear from you. And if you found this video useful at all, please hit the like button for me and definitely consider subscribing to my channel. Thanks.